Let me let me start off by saying I appreciate y'all being patient with us to uh, to come down. Um, our 911 center this morning received a call from uh, Floyd 911. It was actually a transferred call. Uh, an individual from this residence had called 911. Um, there was there was some problem with uh, with language, um, so we were able to get down to the scene. Uh, we we found once we got here an individual. Uh, who had been shot, um, who was, was able to talk to us a little bit. Uh, he was transported to, uh, to an area hospital. Uh, we, we also have uh, two, two deceased victims inside the residence, uh, and we are, we are looking for a fourth person. Uh, we're unsure at this point if this person uh, left the scene on foot or if they may have left in a vehicle. That person should we? I mean, I've always been told we should probably assume they're armed, right? Well, we, people in the area be. Thinking, right? I have pushed out to our local media to to have everyone use caution, and if they notice anyone walking or anything suspicious and out of the the ordinary in this area, to not approach anyone, but to call 911 and let us come out and check it out. Do you know who the victims are? Are you guys ready to release names on these? Yet? We have uh, made some identification, but we are not ready to release any information at this point. Do we know if it's domestic or anything? Uh, again, that's 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 more information that we're that we're trying to uh, investigate into, and, and we will release that as quick as we can. But right now, we're not going to release any details uh, as far as as the situation around the incidents. Mark, do you have any update on the injured person? Uh, we do not. We, we do have a, an officer uh, at the hospital uh, where that injured person was taken. Do you know who called 911? Uh, the individual that was transported to the hospital right now, uh, we believe, was the one that, that actually called 911. You said that you've had K-9 units in the area this morning. We have. We have our, our own K-9 who has cleared the area as well as Department of Corrections uh, loaned us their K-9 and they were in the area for quite some time um, making the rounds of the wood line behind the house just to uh, make sure someone wasn't still back there. And because we're so close to Floyd County, we've had Floyd County Police Department right. out here. We've had the Georgia State Patrol out here. So when you have a situation like this, you're, we're very blessed by having so many other officers and departments that respond. To right, that. right. Yeah, we would we would definitely like to thank those other agencies that's helped us this morning. Are the victims all adults? Uh, all victims are adults. Can you say ages? Uh, not at this point, but they are adults. Male or female? Uh, we'll 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 hold that for just just a little while. Did they did they indicate they uh, knew the person, the fourth person you're looking for? Uh, again, that is some information that we're still developing and not ready to release anything on on that situation right now. So there's like nothing we can tell people to look out for in the area just to be you know kind of aware. Just suspicious of people because I'm like right. we said we're still looking into everything. This is a very fluid situation, so we're trying to get all that you know under control before we. You know, we gotta still have to notify next of kin. Uh, you know, check on our our surge subject in the hospital before right. so we can do anything like that. Uh, the the only description that we have right now would be a male with white shorts uh, is the only thing that that we have right now. So it was. There was no signs of any forced entry into the residence uh, at this point, but we are still looking into the, the motive behind it. So. Is there any reason that local schools should be concerned? I've been on the phone with uh, uh, personnel from the schools, the local schools, as well as from the superintendent's office in the bus barn, uh, keeping them updated on any information. We have nothing right now that would indicate any connection to any school or, or to any children in the area. Any other questions? We will. I think I have most of your information. We will push out updates as quick as we can uh, once we know a little bit more about uh, maybe who we're looking for or what we're looking for. Can you say your name, sir? Joe Montgomery. And what's your I'm the special agent in charge of the GBI Region 1 field office in Calhoun.
All right. Well, thank you all again for being patient, and uh, and we want to uh, want to uh, update y'all as quick as we can. So. Thank y'all. Okay.